So I've been going out to Pueblo recently to look for some new places to fish. And I found some spots that look perfect for when the carp come into the shallows to feed. Creek channels leading up into shallow coves where the water will warm up quickly. Lots of silt for bloodworms, nymphs, and small crustaceans to live in. Snags, logs, rocks, all the things you want in a carp swim. But as I turned over stones at the shoreline, it became apparent that it wasn't quite time yet at this reservoir. Not a nymph, worm, crayfish, or any sign of life at all. Despite the 70 degree afternoons we've had lately, the water was still a little bit cold. It's really close though. I did catch a few carp, but I had to cast out into the creek channels that lead up into the coves. I was experimenting with some milk powder boilies and trying out a couple of new carp rods and a rod pod given to me by my brother Mark. I love them all, but unfortunately the only two takes I got on the new rods came while I was changing batteries in my camera. What are the odds of that? I also broke one of the bobbins for the alarms while trying to put the rod pod together. But it can be fixed or replaced. I caught four fish with the biggest weighing 13 pounds. So I guess the milk powder boilies were a success. But the coots really liked them too and were constantly picking up my baits. I really need to get a laser pen to scare those things away. The new coves will also be perfect spawning grounds for bass. Underneath the silt are white and gray rocks. So when the bass sweep out a nest, the contrast of light colored rocks in the middle of the brown silt will be easily visible to anyone wearing polarized sunglasses. The dark silhouette of a bass on those beds will also be easy to see. So Pueblo Recon number three was successful. I think it's gonna be a great season. Don't forget your sunblock, your umbrella, and your polarized sunglasses. And good luck out there.